Hey, it's Day Dog coming back to you with another video. I'm actually doing a solo this time. Solo from Red Tides. Now, everybody's always, I always play blitzes and stuff. And if you check my rank right there, I'm actually master in solo. So I'm not, it's not like if I'm a scrub, because I can't seem to get over the platinum hump and blitz. No, it's because blitz is kind of my testing grounds. So I kind of use it as a... I don't like testing builds in in um, in solo. That's not where I test builds. I I test builds in Blitz, and I kind of go with what's tried and true in solo because I find it a little bit easier to do good in solo. So. Therefore, I kind of keep it that way. I'll keep my uh, try to keep my losses to one mode instead of two modes. So yeah. Oh, I didn't switch things up. Oh well. Oh well. That's okay. Should I hold them? Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna hold them. <clears throat> not for a hierophant. <coughs> if it was in Blitz, I might think of it. Because in Blitz, I'd be like... Oh, we're gonna be facing people. I gotta get my build up quickly. Yada, blah, blah. But in Solo... Holding... Actually, I almost feel like it's more risky to hold in solo. Holding can get you in trouble, so to speak. And I'm going to give it to him. Because I'm probably going to end up selling him anyway, because he's not part of this build. So it doesn't really matter if he has items in the meantime. Especially that I'm not putting them on anybody else. So might as well give them him in the meantime. Oh, they're being item friendly to me. I'm so used to being in in uh, Blitz where I swear you, you just don't get nearly as much items. Nowhere near as much. Um, I guess we can hold off. We'll put that on him too. Resistance, attack, what else you got going? Armor. Yeah, come on. Do it up. Well, he doesn't have three assassins. I think we got this round, I think. Not 100% sure, but I think. Unless they can kill him. Yeah, no, we got this because he's not killing us. Uh, those those are like I swear they're the worst unit in the game and watch because of that I'm going to lose to him because I said no I was, I was going to say like they're supposed to be equivalent units technically I mean on paper they're the same tier they're the same cost they're the same base units but I swear well, that is not the case they do not I repeat they do not like, they just don't match up at all. I can't even remember what his name is because I never use him. But the Keenage is way better. Unless you're going beast, full beast. And even then, I mean, you don't... I find that you, he's one that you can pass on. <laughs> even if you're going full beast. Okay, first loss. To Mr. Aaron Ben Rolling, I bet you. No, no, he's just getting lucky on the rolls. He's just getting good RNG. This is also another big thing I really like about Solo. The beginning really doesn't mean anything. In Blitz, it's a little bit more serious. In Blitz, if you start falling back, it can be the end of... Well, everything. That can be the end right there. Like, you're not coming back from it kind of thing. Should I sell that Keenage and put the Chanter in? I don't know. 
Right now, he's got all the items, so I'm just going to leave him there for right now, but I think that might have been what I had to do there. But Electrocutioner, come on. Oh, not enough. Just not enough. Wow, how is she doing so much damage to my Keenage as a level 1? As a rank 1? Like, no items, no nothing. Uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. We're going to come back. This is not over. I'm going to put the chanter in now because I'm going to level up. Yes, level up, whatever. I could have waited on a little bit more, like one more round to get the interest and get it after, but I don't want to lose so much. I want to start... Well, at least even if I'm losing, I don't want to lose by too much either. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll wait another round to start racking up the rent, the interest instead. Which I think, uh, panned out for me at least this round. I mean, we're probably going to lose, but, uh, come on, kill one more. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't as good as I, I would have hoped even better. But imagine if I wouldn't have ranked up. If I wouldn't have leveled up. It would have been worse. Turret. Hmm. Seems to be a difficult mission. Yeah, we're going to get rid of him now. So, and then I'm going to put him... Because he can sort of tank. Hey, can you... Oh my god, what was happening there? Wow, it just wouldn't let me move him. Who are we going to put all this on? Um, I think we're actually going to put it on him and him. And we're just going to put it all on him, actually. I, I find it to be a surprisingly good unit. Like it does the job a lot more than I uh, would have thought. It's not supposed to be a tanking unit, but it can decently tank. I mean, obviously, it's not a front line, but, uh, you know, like a second line kind of unit. Oh, can we get this guy? Like, does he ever come off his, uh, no, it just never came down. Never go down. Yeah. To those who caught that. Yeah. To those who didn't, it's better that, it's probably better you don't know. Yeah, I think it was the right idea to put it on him. <laughs> so like I said, we're going to make a comeback here sooner or later. Sooner than later, hopefully. Because um, one thing I, uh, I heard somebody say in some other game that was similar... You got to see your HP as, uh, as a resource... Like if you're not seeing your HP as an actual resource in the game, um, you know, you might not, how could I put it, you might not count it as a resource, so to speak, and you, know, you might not treat it the same way, you'll just watch it go down and you won't calculate it and you won't really, you know, you're just going to be like, oh, it's going down, it's going down, and oh, Maybe I should start doing something now, but you're not really paying attention because HP to you, it's like, well, it goes down, it goes down. No, HP, you got to see this resource. You got to see this as a uh, darn. Yeah. I didn't want to, but I don't really have a choice. Um, put that on the Kushana for right now. I know he's not, he's like not supposed to be even tanking, but he's in front of my other guy. And I, uh, reason being, I like him to get his ability off quickly. So, oh, darn. No, 
That was close. I don't know why they'd say that it explodes when it's the last. It get explodes, meaning it it just dies and it doesn't do anything, because that's what it does. Nothing. Darn you! Just making sure I'm just under the mark of interest. But I don't want to hold because I need to get rolls. I need to maybe then get me other two stars. So holding right now is a risky thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Darn assassins. I hate assassins. They're like... I hate them more than I hate pandas, because at least pandas, I can generally do pretty good against them. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do against assassins. If they get going early, it's such a cheesy build. Such a lame build. It's like, oh, I got no skill. Go assassins. Oh, I don't know how to play this game. Well, somebody said told me that assassins were good. <laughs> you know, if I don't really have uh, an idea of how to like make synergies work together, I'll just go assassins. Pandas are similar too, though. Pandas are pandas are pretty much the same thing, in my opinion. But um. At least, like, they're, I think they're a lot more easier to handle. You can deal, you just spread your, sh your, your troops apart on the field and, you know, they're already there, it'll probably make a difference. There's just a lot of builds that can sort of counter them. Maybe not counter them, but do good against them. Whereas, there's not much that does good against assassins. There just isn't. You could try... Whatever you wanted. I don't really know what's a direct counter to assassins, for instance. Like, there's sort of counters. There's things that work well against them, half decently, but there's no direct counter. There's no way to, you know, say, okay, this guy's going assassins. Well, I'm going to go this build and it should beat them. No. The, at least. If there is, I don't know what it is. Because yeah, I've tried a lot of things, and um, yeah, there just doesn't seem to be anything that's s consistently strong against them. There just doesn't seem to be. Maybe I suck or something, but I don't think I'm that bad. And uh, yeah, I haven't figured that one out yet. No, it's just still kind of a mystery to me. I should swap that tank builder out and put the other him that just popped in, the other uh, builder, the long shot builder in instead. Can we get another one? Oh, yay, we killed one other guy. We're not killing anything else, though. Um, we'll put that on him. Get both of them tanking a bit. We'll have two not really tanks. Pretend tanks. Toy tanks. Uh, put them in the corner. And put him like this. Okay, let's try it like that. Let's try it out. Let's try that for positioning. I shouldn't be rolling for nothing. Um, would I want to trade anything? Do I have a level 2 of something in there? Yeah, my Electrocutioner. Get him. Yeah, well, wow. He's not going too well. He's not going too well. I mean, it could be worse. But it's definitely not good right now. Just my luck. I have to hold out one round at least.
Wow, she just hopped in the death. Let's go get killed. In three seconds. Well, yeah, well, this guy's just... This new upgrade's got me guessing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, now that all melee can attack diagonally, it kinda, it really changes things. It almost makes me think that anything that's ranged now just will not have enough HP to be able to do anything in comparison. I mean, I, I think the meta is geared towards melee now. Like, the, the the range is just not going to cut it. One, two, three, whatever. Just put who in? I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to put the... I need the, the money. I need extra money. I need the extra gold. Yeah, I think uh, the meta right now is literally geared towards all melee and I don't know I'm just such a big ranged guy I'm so fond of range that uh, right now all the builds that I'm building are just not not cutting it lately I get the impression should try to go vanguard beast or something beast vanguard or human Human Vanguard, I mean, rain, uh, Marine Vanguard, something along those lines. I should try to build along around there right now because I'm pretty sure that the meta's done for range for the time being until they change it up again. Oh, wow, no. I didn't have time to swap them out. And I think that might be uh, my undoing because of it. Can I get enough to survive this round? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh no, that's not. There's no way there's 11 there, right? Yeah, we're good for another round. Maybe we survive another day. Yeah, so. Yeah. I need to. I need to rethink everything pretty much right now I need to rethink things because uh, literally like I said I think the meta is geared towards melee right now and I need to figure out what I would like to try to run consistently melee wise because everything that's ranged is just not surviving anymore I mean even the bosses attack in diagonal out that you know if it was just the rounds, like you, the, the people, the, all the players, it would be one thing. But when you're losing HP massively to the bosses because, because of that specific problem, yeah, it really starts becoming a problem. It starts like, you die quick. <laughs> you die fast. And hard. One, two, three, four, whatever. I'm just, I'm going for broke here. I don't really care. Not that I don't really care, but I mean, I don't, I know I'm going to lose either way, either way, probably, so. So, might as well try. Yeah, we're not even, this, this guy's, I keep on facing him and he just rapes me every time. Okay, well, I'm still actually going to post this one because I want people to see that uh, it's not like if I had a bad game or anything and things were going half decently, but um, yeah, the meta is just completely different now that melee attacks diagonally. I don't know if there's room left for a bunch of builds that would have worked just, just a week ago. Just a week ago, there's a bunch of builds that would have still been very viable and would have kicked a lot of butt. But now with this all melee attacking diagonally, I think they should have left that to just the vanguards doing that because originally in frontline mode, the first week before they released it, it was originally only supposed to be the vanguard that were going to attack diagonally. I think they might, maybe they should keep it that way. They should put it back to only vanguard attacking diagonally because... 
I mean, or you're you're gonna they're gonna have to massively upgrade, like buff a bunch of ranged units, like almost all of them, almost all the ranged units, because ranged units now, well, um, first of all, your your tanks themselves, even your melee units, well now they can get attacked from more like more units they can like they're gonna die faster even your tanks even with items and ranked up and everything they're still gonna die faster so therefore um y your ranged if 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 you're not if you're running say half melee half ranged your ranged is gonna get hit faster and they're not gonna be able to tank as well either because they're gonna be hit, getting hit by more angles than they could been being hit before and just yeah you, you it just really changes things it really they have to soup up those range because those range are just not good there's just not going to be any point of running eh, there's going to be a bunch of synergies that are just going to be pointless to run and, and and right now i think that because of all melee units being able to attack in diagonal right now i think the best synergy is probably assassins assassins is probably like the go-to build right now because uh well they already like they're already they already jumped to your back line which is already just devastating most of the time um to almost any build uh second of all they perk they, they they crit they kill your units so quick it's disgusting uh, you could doesn't matter if it's a tank or a, a back line like obviously your back lines they're supposed to die, go down quick but i mean your front line isn't supposed to go down so quick assassins killed them like in two seconds they'll take out your entire front line of tanks with guardian or whatever all sorts of synergies whatever you want to have going on it doesn't really matter assassins are just going to rip right through it especially since this uh since the 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 last patch and the upgrade and whatever you want to call it they're just they're literally overpowered just way too strong so i think they have to figure something out because uh right now um there's there there's an it's it's not just a question of like um certain things are strong no 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 literally right now there's there's one basically the, 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 there's no point in running uh, half of the synergies that are in the game because you're going to lose if you run those synergies you run other things you're going to lose because people are going to be running melee and somebody's going to be running assassins get a strong atta assassin team and there's a good chance that he's going to be the one that wins i think the only thing that really counters assassins might be uh, pandas and pandas is also another cheesy build uh, that doesn't really require that much skill, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, basically, I think there's a complete imbalance right now. There's just a total imbalance to the entire meta. And hopefully, uh, well, I don't really mind because, like, I, I realize it now and it's just like, well, whatever. I'm just going to go all melee and focus on assassins and uh, beast assassins, beast vanguard, things like that, you know, just concentrate on those builds and just forget about all the other units in the game pretty much because they're just not going to be any point in even thinking about running them. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll uh, stop there and leave you guys on that. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell to hit the notification bell because I put content out, I uh, release content pretty much every day, every second day, a few videos. So uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Catch you guys later.